Yo, what's going on, Mute Club? It's your boy Shobek here, back at it with another Mutilate video. In this one in particular, we're going to be deep diving the specific trinkets you should be using in Arena. So first off, if you're double DPS, your go-to for Alliance is going to be Dark Moon Card of Death and Bannet Insignia. This double stack burst is absolutely insane. When you stack it with the glove and your partner's glove, this is unreal damage. This is your absolute go-to. If you're playing Lock Rogue as a twos comp, I recommend you actually swapping out the Darkman card of death and actually run the Battlemaster's trinket for the health because in the talent tree, you can go quick recovery, which gives you a 20% heal, which allow your health stone to be even more, which can crit and your Battlemaster's to heal you even more. So it gives you that kind of like second life, second chance, which is really, really strong. Next up, when you are doing healer DPS, like DPR or HPAL, I would recommend on Alliance to run Anvil of Titans with Dark Moon Card of Greatness. You get the agility, you get the armor, you get the dodge. This is going to make you more tanky, as well as having you the high resilience for the anvil while giving you the attack power bonus, which increases your damage from your poisons. So it gives you that front load while also giving you a lot of defensive stats at the same time. And both of these are absolutely great, especially when you're playing Mutilate. If you're on the Horde side, your best go-to, if you're playing double DPS, is going to be Bandit's Insignia with your PvP Trinket. If you are running double DPS, because the 190 attack power is just flat out incredible for us. It allows our Mutilates to add more value and our poison damage to stack up even more. So it's really, really good. If you don't have the Bandit's Insignia, I would run up next the Dark Moon Card of Death because when you are double DPS, the burst is just really, really important and you need every burst that you can get. And this card being off GCD is just really good and you're getting the benefit of crit. And remember, when you crit with your auto attacks, you're going to be regener regenerating energy, which is going to be huge. So the 85 crit is not a dead stat whatsoever and it is really, really good. If you are Horde and you're running healer DPS, I recommend you running Anvil of Titans with your PvP trinket because then you can double stack your resilience while still being able to get that 1000 attack power buff that can go really well with your Berserker proc. So it can honestly add an absolute insane amount of damage if you get really good timing on your procs. And guys, that's really going to be it for this video. It, And guys, that's gonna be it for this video. It's a short one, but I just wanted to clear the air just in case if anyone had any questions about what trinkets to rock for what occasion. Again, for a quick recap, Bannon's Insignia, Dark Moon Death for Alliance on any sort of double DPS outside of Rogue Lock. If you're running Healer DPS on Alliance, I recommend you run Bannon's Insignia with Dark Moon Card of Greatness. This is great for being offensive because you are Alliance. You might as well take advantage of it. You can definitely swap out Dark Moon Card of Greatness for Anvil of Titans if you want. And you can even do Dark Moon Card of Greatness with Anvil Titans as another swap out if you are doing Healer DPS as Alliance. Again, Horde, your go-to is going to be Anvil of Titans with your PvP Trinket. And then if you are double DPS, Bannon's Insignia is going to be amazing across the board for double DPS. Dark Moon Card is going to be the second slot best unless you are playing Rogue Lock. When you're playing Rogue Lock, it's great to use Battlemasters because of the double healing. If you still like the heal, you can definitely supplement out the Dark Moon Card of Death with the Battlemasters Trinket as Horde. If you're playing Mage Rogue or something Feral Rogue and you want that still extra heal for the just in Casey's moment, definitely still a viable option because it allows you to still have that second win and it gives you 190 attack power flat boost stat, which is absolutely insane. All right, guys, I'm live every single day on Twitch. Come in, join the Mute Club, ask me anything. Until next time, boys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.